I'm pretty sure that it was Damon's idea to do a film series, and that seemed like a lot of work to me. And so I suggested that we concentrate it into a film festival. Isn't that right? I think so. I was beating your door down trying to get an internship, if you remember. I called you probably 10 times before you ever called me back. Did Is you, that true? Do you remember that? You quickly put me on the task of drudgery, of figuring out how to fund a film festival, trying to get sponsors, knocking on businesses' doors, begging for money. I thought that was your idea. I don't remember it that way, but that was 10 years ago. That was a long time ago, so no wonder I don't it's remember. It's true. Year after year, there's new documentaries coming out by people that just have a passion for making them, but there's really not good outlets for them. Right. So that's what I wanted to do was, let's just show the most well-made, compelling documentary films that we, that we can, with no restriction on content, no restriction on subject, no restriction on style or form. Right. And I thought maybe people would be interested. We showed our first film, 2004, mid-February, Thursday morning at 10 a.m. And I remember that morning, we had coffee and we looked at each other thinking, is anybody gonna show up? And seven people did. And we were slapping high fives because somebody came. And then by that night, there was a line around the block for the Howard Zinn film. The local turnout was amazing. Missoula was absolutely thrilled to have access to all those films. That's really cool. Tonight was the opening night film for the Big Sky Documentary Film Festival. It's only just a glimpse into the week of what we have to offer. We have 100 films from 32 countries. Our audience has just been tremendous. It's the first time this theater has been sold out for a movie since 1979, Star Wars. And now the festival's upwards of... Uh, pushing 20,000 now. Pushing 20,000 people per year coming to the, the event. That's just amazing. <laughs> Another big draw for, for the audience is not only to come and watch these awesome movies all week, but a lot of times filmmakers come to the festival and represent their films and the audience has a, a chance to talk with them after, after their screening and have a Q&A. That's pretty neat too. Our retrospective artists that we've showcased at Big Sky have made a whole body of work over a chunk of their lifetime and it's great for the audience to be able to meet them and look at their whole body of work and consider that it's a continuum, it's a process of making films. It's not just what was your last great idea. Yeah, so the student filmmaker who enters his three minute film can come rub elbows with the Stanley Nelsons of the world. Exactly. That's really great. And and now... Well, we've added our doc shop You've added too. the doc shop, which so is a we, whole uh, nother deal. We've really attempted to grow the event so that people who Filmmakers who maybe don't even have a new film to share this year have other reasons to be here, to network whatever they're working on, pitch their film at our international pitch session, go to panels. Right. Big Sky is so unique in the way where the intimacy you have with the, the other industry delegates and the other filmmakers, you actually get to chat with them and discuss projects and it's a really cool, creative environment. A lot of ideas are exchanged and people go away feeling inspired to make something new, you know, right. make their next project. This is the place that has helped make the film festival what it is. I mean, filmmakers come and they've maybe been to three or four other events with their movie and they had a good time, but they show up here and they can't believe that they're screening in this venue. A thousand seats, the biggest screen in Montana. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. People are consuming media in different ways that are not as exciting and fun as coming to a film festival. Keeping their interest, I think it increases the challenge that we have to keep our event exciting and fun. I mean, I think we'll do that because people continue to make great films. The Big Sky Documentary Film Festival is the premier event for nonfiction film in the American West. It's 10 days of showing more than 100 films, filmmakers coming in from all over the world, an audience of tens of thousands of people descending upon downtown Missoula and enjoying more than a week of great documentaries.